Hi, welcome to PsychIn, where I will be covering topics in psychology and its everyday application. If you like the content of this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the like button below. For today's topic, we will be talking about what is self-fulfilling prophecy. Well, some of us might have heard of the term self-fulfilling prophecy, but many of us might not know the impact it can have on the way we perceive individuals and behave towards them. So what exactly is self-fulfilling prophecy? Self-fulfilling prophecy refers to the process by which one person's expectations about another become reality by eliciting behaviors that confirm the expectations. For self-fulfilling prophecy to occur, we need to have a perceiver and a target person. The impression in which the perceiver has of the target will then lead to the perceiver behaving in a certain way that corresponds to the impression. This will then produce the corresponding behavior elicited from the target. The behaviors of the target person will then confirm the impression that the perceiver initially has. In a job interview study conducted by Wood, Zanner, and Cooper in 1974, some white confederates were assigned to be the interviewers of white job candidates who are real participants. There were two conditions to the study, where the participants would either be exposed to a good interview or a bad interview. The confederates were then assigned to either be a good interviewer, where they would appear neutral to the job candidate, or be a bad interviewer, where they were supposed to appear more distant to the job candidate. What the researchers found was that job candidates exposed to the bad interview condition performed much worse, where they were rated as nervous, incompetent, and were more distant in their own behaviors. This showed that the perceiver's behaviors can influence or produce the resultant behaviors in the target person. In another school study, researchers told the teacher that there are two types of students, the bloomers, who are fast learners although this was not true, and the non-bloomers, who are just some normal students. With this expectation in mind, the teacher then gave the bloomers more difficult and challenging questions for practice while giving simple questions for the rest of the class. It was found that the bloomers performed much better than those who were not bloomers, confirming the teacher's initial expectation. So knowing that self-fulfilling prophecy can affect the way people perceive and behave, what can we do to prevent ourselves from falling prey to self-fulfilling prophecy? Number 1. Be confident of who you are. By knowing what kind of person you actually are, it is less likely for the perceiver to hold on to any expectations that are contrary to who you are. Number 2. Be aware of the perceiver's expectations. If someone thinks that you're a lazy person who lacks the motivation to achieve, then by realizing this expectation, you can then attempt to disconfirm the belief by showing how diligent you are and how much effort you put into every single project that you're in charge of. In this way, you can change the perceiver's expectation of you. Number 3 Stay true to yourself. Most of the time, people conform to what is expected of them so as to gain social acceptance and connectedness. However, if you are motivated to convey an accurate impression, then it is important for you to be courageous enough to be who you really are. In that way, you will never behave in ways to feed into the expectations of others. Thank you for watching this channel and don't forget to subscribe if you want to know more about how psychology works in everyday lives.